Now, I have to say, one of my favorite things about Violet Evergarden is actually how it's being adapted. Now, I've never read the original source material, the two novels that this is based off of, but from what I've read from different peoples in my comment section to just different forum posts, a lot of this stuff has actually been anime original so far. I think episodes 2, 3, as well as this episode were mostly anime original, but I think the ultimate anime adaptation shouldn't just adapt a manga or a light novel page for page, they should actually add in content to enhance the viewing experience, and this is exactly what I think Violet Evergarden is giving us. Now, I know a lot of people every single week constantly will say nothing's happening in Violet Evergarden, it's just boring, they're writing letters, and sure, if that's not your cup of tea, that's absolutely fine. I just adore how much characterization we're getting, not just to Violet as a character, but now this week one of the side cast, Iris, who I actually thought was going to get swept under the rug, and it would just be in favor of Violet, which sure is fine, but it's nice to see that if they're gonna give us a side cast, they're at least going to flesh out their backstories and just what drives them to be a doll. And I really enjoyed this episode. Was it my favorite of the four? No, I think it might be one of my bottom episodes. I think maybe I like it a bit better than episode one, but episodes two and three are still my favorite. But I really enjoyed this episode. I actually was a little worried at the beginning. I was like, I really wasn't sure the direction they were going to go with Iris as well as our main character Violet going to write a letter in her hometown. But then they transformed it into a pretty interesting backstory of ultimately why she ran away and ultimately she got her heart broken by a childhood friend who she thought there was a mutual love, but ultimately it was just a one-sided love, so she ran away essentially to become a doll. And I actually really appreciated how they basically functioned their family because it's something that I think some people could definitely relate to. It's nothing original, like we've seen things like this where you know you have the family who wants to marry off their kid because they're now an adult and they're worried that their future is gloomy. But I actually liked how they progress it. I also liked the reasoning. I didn't really feel like any of the characters were just acting for superficial reasons. It definitely felt like the family was just worried about their daughter because it seems like she's just trying to lie to them saying like, you know, I'm, I have my future set out, I'm a great doll, but obviously she's still working at becoming a good doll. But I just liked it overall because everyone in this episode made a lot of sense with how they were acting, especially Iris, and I really appreciated her and kind of Violet bonding over everything that was happening. But also we get to see even more progression with Violet's skills because she writes once again letters, not just invitations and apology letters, but also a letter for Iris's mother and father, which once again we get to see that her letters are becoming a bit bigger, they're a bit more complex, and they're getting the message across. I do expect we're going to see Violet obviously fail as time goes on, but it's nice to see that with last week's episode and this week, even if this is all anime original content, it feels like we're watching the main character progress. This doesn't feel like filler to me. I'm, I'm sure some people are going to say nothing's happening, the plot's not moving forward, but the plot is moving forward because the plot is Violet growing into being a great doll as well as a person who understands emotions and understands feelings. We even get to see Violet in this episode actually feel bad. Like, you, obviously she wasn't acting as most people will because she is kind of a machine-like person, but we get to see exactly her feel bad about Iris because she doesn't understand what she's doing is wrong. She thought she should tell her parents that what happened with her love and her heart getting broken. And it's just all these little moments that build up to really show me that Kyoto Animation isn't the typical studio that's just going to adapt page by page. They're going to add in content that they think is going to enhance the viewing experience. You know, this is still my favorite anime of the season. I'm sure there's still going to be people saying it's boring, it's just, it's overhyped, whatever. But for me, this is what I want. I just adore the characters. I didn't think I was going to care about Iris. When this episode started out, I was like, I don't know if I really want an episode focusing primarily on Iris. She never really struck me as a character I was that interested in, but coming into this episode, I'm actually interested to see where her character will go in future episodes, but nonetheless, I enjoyed her episode of her fleshing out her family life and ultimately what drives her to be a doll. It's just so many little moments in these episodes that I just really adore. It ties the package together, and I'm just appreciating the subtlety of just some of the little facial expressions that will come off of Violet and other characters that really show you what they're feeling and thinking in that moment, even without saying that much in terms of dialogue. This is just another really fun episode. Like, these episodes feel like they're seven minutes long for me. I'm always surprised when the episode's about to end. And I just like this show. I mean, I know there is a handful of people, a decent, you know, a vocal group saying, like, you know, this is boring, it's not for them. But for me, this is everything I want. And I absolutely adore how Kyoto Animation is adapting this. And like I said, I've never read the original source material. I'm just going word of mouth here. So maybe some of this stuff was adapted from the novels. 
But for all the supposedly anime original content that's been here, I don't feel like it's anime original in the traditional sense that it's filler. I just feel like this naturally fits with the story that we've seen in episode one. And I can't wait to see how the entire novels are going to be adapted and just ultimately what else they're going to add into this. I adore this show. You know that every single week I've been coming up here, I really don't have a major complaint for this. You know, when the episode was starting out, I thought I was going to have some issues with this episode. But by the time it wrapped up, I enjoyed that train ride for them going back to her hometown and just ultimately the outcome that happened there. And I just like how both are setting a path for their own futures there. And Violet is growing into being someone who's starting to understand emotions, but obviously not too quickly, but at a decent enough pace that it doesn't feel like we're dragging our feet down and not getting anywhere. I just like this show a lot, but let me know your thoughts. What did you think of episode four and how excited are you for episode five next week? Let me know. And before you leave, smack that like button, share your support. If you need channel, be sure to subscribe. So until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.